Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson with KBandsTraining.com. Today we're going to be working through the situational soccer attack drill. This drill is going to focus on situational passing and shooting from all different angles of the field. To set this drill up, you're going to need your K-bands, speed ladder, as well as your agility cones to create some space where we're going to work on our foot speed and quickness throughout the whole sequence. To begin this drill, we're going to set up three cones creating some space to work on our back pedal turn and sprint. As you reach the edge of the last cone, it's time to take our first shot on goal. Immediately back at it, we're going with lateral quickness. Get down through this speed and agility ladder, moving your arms. Remember, slow arms mean slow legs, so really power through working on that lateral high knee. As you exit the ladder, we're gonna work on our cross passes. Keep the ball on the ground and put it right through the middle of the field where an attacker will be for a shot on goal. Now we're moving on to the three line sequence where we really have to accelerate out and around each of them as we approach for our shot on goal. For the reps and sets, you're gonna be completing six complete resisted sets. It'll be three from the right, three from the left, followed by two unresisted sets with just the same, the left and the right. A couple key tips that you need to really focus on to get the best results out of this drill is going to be in three different sections. The first is the drop step. As you accelerate backwards, we've got to be in a good position to turn our shoulder, drop and sprint. So keep your center of gravity low and forward as you make the turn. If you're leaning back as you backpedal, you're only going to be slow on the turn. So keep your chest forward, drop the step, and really drive with your back arm to accelerate. The second key element is moving through the ladder with proper form. By moving laterally, we can work on our lateral quickness, developing our hips, but we can also work on our hip flexors by really focusing on driving our knees up. And finally, the last element is going to be the slides through the lines of cones. Be sure that you keep a great center of balance. If you're really jab stepping on the corners, it's only going to make you slower. So you've really got to focus to keep your center and make those legs stay nice and tight through each individual cone. When you go through your unresisted reps, this is going to be easy for you to let that foot leak. But if you stay tight, stay close, you're going to be able to accelerate all that much faster through that line of cones. Head to kbandstraining.com for more shooting drills, passing drills, or any of the agility equipment that you've seen in this video.